Okay. So Bill, we're, we're now approaching the, the roadworks um, site itself. Uh, you can see there's some, what we call buffer zone signage, some warning signage, um, advising um, vehicles approaching that they are approaching a roadworks yep. site. So one of the things we'd ask all drivers to be aware of uh, is just that they are entering a roadworks site. There will be workers at the site. There will be changed traffic conditions. And those traffic conditions will evolve and change over the life of the job. So you might drive through one day and you have a certain set of conditions the next it might have changed. So we really need drivers to be really aware of that as they approach the site, very conscious that they're entering a roadwork site, very observant of the type of signage that's actually out on the sign, out on the um, the, the roadway, uh, forming vehicles, um, some of those controls that might be necessary, um, as well as the widths uh, and the lane configurations. They, they might move around during the course of work. So um, now that's, that's to do with um, worker safety, but it's also to do with actual construction of the job. As we uh, construct different areas, we might need to move vehicles into different positions so that we can make room to actually access yeah, some of the site. Yep. Now you can see, Bill, as we're coming into this final part of the gap, definitely we've got really steep upslope yeah, yeah, yeah. terrain, really steep downslope terrain. We're very limited in width here. It's a very constrained site. Um, yes. Throw in a, 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 an active highway and heavy vehicles and very large heavy vehicles. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? There is. There certainly is. And look, guys, like Nick says, you know, there's going to be changes. So the biggest thing with change in traffic flow is people being complacent. So if you've got guys coming up and down here every day, they get used to one set of road lines or one set of rules or, you know, as soon as you put a change in the middle of the night, you know, whether it be a lane change or You've got to not be complacent, you've got to keep your wits about you. So, you know, be aware of the surroundings, be aware of uh, the changes. Um, take your time through here and uh, just be patient and um, adhere to the rules, you know, adhere to the instructions as they, as they change. So, yeah, yeah, just be professional. The reason why you've got to have big machines up on that gap doing the work, so you need to block the lanes off to be able to use your side machines, you know. So, you know, we've got to be patient with it. You're right. The, you know, the helipad over to Fisher Park, you know, 15 minutes, it's it's not a big deal, but if you're at the end of the queue, you, it's going to be maybe, you know, 50 minutes, an hour before you get through there. So yeah. you've got to make the call whether you want to go that way. But, you know, it's, it's going to, there'll be some interruption, but everybody will work together on it.